In this video, I'll dive into the crit build and weak spot build for the MG4 weapon. And without further ado, let's get right into it. As usual, the video is timestamped. And to start off, I'm just going to point out the specific things you need to know about this weapon's feature. And pretty much for the second weapon feature, whenever fast gunner stacks reach a multiple of 5, gain infinite ammo for 0.5 seconds. This buff, you lose that effect once you hit the maximum amount of fast gunner stacks. However, let's say for instance, you've spent like 60% of your mag, you lose all your fast gunner stacks, then you will still be able to proc this effect. It's just that once the fast gunner stacks reach its maximum value, you won't proc this anymore. Then the stacking weapon damage bonus so the hitting the same target consecutively grants weapon damage plus two percent per hit up to 40 percent effect resets when switching targets this buff is also lost when you swap the gun out and that's pretty much about it so moving on to the gun's calibration you'd want to run rapid shot style as your main effect to gain the most amount of dps then if you do the weak spot build go with double weak spot substats and if you do the crit build go with double crit substats now moving on to the accessories setup, you've got kind of three setups that you can go for. This is the one for the most amount of stability. Uh, you would run this if you struggle with the gun's recoil. Otherwise, you can always opt for something that's more uh, accuracy based. And of course, you can always go for something that's more balanced between stability and accuracy. Now moving on to your cradle, run a handgun enhancement and then master tactician, deviation master, tactical combo, Steady Hand, Lone Walker if you fight alone, and Bounty Hunter. For the last choice, really, if you're in a server that does not advantage Fast Gunner, just pick anything that's going to buff your other gun's damage, or one of the anti-void options, or even a defensive option. And if you play on a server that advantages Fast Gunner, then pick Fast Pursuit for the 10% crit rate and 15% weapon damage bonus. Then, moving on to secondary and melee, let's start with melee, you'd want to run the long axe for the 20% weapon damage bonus obtained from triggering fortress warfare after a heavy attack. When you hit enemies with that heavy attack, you will also gain crit rate, which is nice for the crit build, and its long animation can also be animation cancelled to only get the fortress warfare buff, which will follow you until it spawns. Then for the secondary gun, run crossbow if you run the crit build while bossing, if not, go with the bingo or the wildfire. And for the weak spot build, it'll be between the bingo and also the wildfire. It'll depend on whichever you prefer and which stat, meaning weak spot or weapon, you need more for your weak spot to weapon damage ratio. Now moving on to your key gear and gear sets, for your key gear, the only option is pretty much Osis Mask. It's the go-to if you want to deal as much damage as possible. Although you can consider Precise Shot Mask just for the easy POI content clearing quality of life if you do run this weapon, since in that aspect of the game you don't need that much damage, and Precise Shot Mask will reduce your time needed to reload the gun. Then for your gear sets, if you go with the crit build, you can run 3-piece Lone Wolf and 2-piece Best for higher DPS but lower damage per mag compared to 3-piece Lone Wolf and 2-piece Tornado. So pretty much Tornado will deal less DPS but more damage per mag. Then if you run the weak spot build, use 4-piece Renegade for the stacking weak spot bonus and extra mag on subsequent mags after the first one and 1-piece one Best Z. Pretty much this will deal more damage per mag than the other option but less DPS. And the other option would be 3-piece Renegade and 1-piece Best Z and 1-piece Lone Wolf. With that you will deal more DPS but less total damage per mag. I personally just prefer the second option for this one as it's just more versatile and the magazine capacity increase isn't conditional. Now really quickly before I move on to the substats priority, I just want to say that if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. So let's move on to your substats priority. For gun and mask, go with preferably fast gunner suffix. Its substat rolls roll higher than your violent or precision suffixes. And for the other substats for the exclusive crit build, get yourself crit damage increase when in fast gunner state and damage increase against X type of enemy. For the weak spot build, go with the weak spot damage bonus when in fast gunner state and damage increase against X type of enemy. Fast gunner trigger chance isn't really a good substat to go for since it's multiplicative with your weapons based trigger chance and the maximum amount of fast gunner trigger chance substats you can get is only 12%. 
Then for boots and pants, for the crit build, if you don't mind having to hit weak spots to get more crit damage, you can make resonance work if you only have the one stat line of the special resonance stat line list, which would be crit damage increase upon dealing weak spot damage. For the rest of the resonance substats, look for 2 damage bonus against X type of enemy and reload speed bonus since you can't get magazine capacity on the resonance mod. Then for everything else, boots and pants included if you don't want to run resonance, run either violent for the crit build or precision for the weak spot build. For the rest of precision or violent mod substats, look to have damage bonus versus X type of enemy, weapon damage bonus and magazine capacity. Now for the mods, keep in mind that I will exclusively separate the crit build and the weak spot build, but feel free to use a weak spot mod for your crit build, as sometimes you won't either never hit weak spots, nor only hit weak spots. So sometimes like going half crit, half weak spot can be more beneficial. But the essential is that for the crit build, you'd go with crit and weapon bonus, whereas for the weak spot build, you'd go with weak spot and weapon bonus. And in the big lines for both builds, You'd want to pretty much equalize both percentages to deal the most amount of damage. Note to always keep in mind your substats quality between your mod options, and let's get right into it. So moving on to the gun, you've got three options. You've got shooting blitz, precision rush, and a shootout. The reason why I don't recommend cowboy is that first of all, the gun triggers fast gunner already quickly on its own, and it's just better to go for more weak spot or weapon damage bonus. And then Cowboy is also tied to emptying your whole 120 bullets mag in order to get increased fast gunner trigger chance, which is pretty mid. It's not exactly the same thing for the Renegade 4 piece where you don't need to empty the whole mag. Then shooting blitz is better if you're not going to spend much time to kill your target since it's a really quick 15% weapon damage buff upon your first fast gunner trigger and will out DPS the other options for only the first mag, which means for content where you spend a lot of time shooting at targets or just more than one mag, you should go with either precision rush or shootout. And that is even while well considering that shooting blitz allows you to retain your fast gunner stacks. So pretty much uh, precision rush and shootout are just the same mod. One is stacking weak spot damage bonus, the other stacks a weapon damage bonus. So here the choice really is going to be between your weak spot to weapon ratio However, one advantage that Shootout has over Precision Rush is that the weapon damage bonus from Shootout lasts for 10 seconds and will still remain in effect even if you swap out the gun. Whereas Precision Rush, it's 3 seconds, so to make Precision Rush work, you'll have to run Ruthless Reaper Precision to make you avoid the long 4 second reload. But even then, if you just stop shooting for 3 seconds, you lose the buff, so Precision Rush puts out a lot of pressure on continuously shooting. Then for the head, for the crit build, you'd want to run either Momentum Up or Fateful Strike. The difference between those two is that if you run Fateful Strike, you lose a big chunk of damage if you're still able to hit weak spots. However, in situations where no weak spots can be hit, Fateful Strike will be better. And if you can hit weak spots, then Momentum Up will be better. Then for the weak spot build, you'll obviously want to run Precise Strike for its 36% of weak spot damage bonus. And for the weaker option, you'd go with Momentum Up. So Momentum Up can be used for both builds. Then moving on to the mask, you've got two options. You've got Blitzkrieg and you've also got Gunslinger. Now Blitzkrieg increases your maximum amount of fast gunner stacks and fire rate, whereas the Gunslinger mod increases your weak spot damage bonus. This means that if you do an exclusive crit build, you would run Blitzkrieg. However, if you're going for the weak spot build, you can run Blitzkrieg or Gunslinger. Just know that for both builds, considering you're not going exclusively crit, Gunslinger will be the better option if you hit him weak spots. Then for gloves, for the crit build, ideally you would want to run a crit boost for the lack of crit resources for fast gunner weapons, but if you don't have a good one, you can always run crit amplifier. Then for the weak spot build, go with either munitions amplifier or weak spot damage boost, depending on their substats qualities and your total weak spot to weapon stat ratio. Moving on to boots, if you're clearing content that needs damage, then you'll need to go with covered defense. It's just the general better option. It either gives more buffs or is less conditional. Otherwise, for easy world cleaning content, you can definitely run Ruthless Reaper Precision to avoid that long hour reload. For your top mod, 
for the crit build go with either munitions amplifier or crit damage enhancement but usually uh, I would prefer munitions amplifier since you'll have more crit damage than weapon damage bonus and also the fact that you won't always crit. Then for the weak spot build it's either going to be munitions amplifier or weak spot damage boost depending on if you're able to hit weak spots and your weak spot to weapon damage ratio. Lastly for pants for the crit build you'll want to either run deadshot or bullet siphon. And the reasoning behind your choice will be the same I used for all the other mods. And then for the weak spot build, your pretty much only option here would be Bullet Siphon for the weapon damage increase. Although you can make Unstoppable work if you're shooting at something long range and you're still able to hit your shots, such as the Forsaken Giant. But I wouldn't really like to run the mod since there's like not much other use for that mod for this gun. Moving on to your food buffs. Well, run a mixed fried hot dog if you're shooting against a marked enemy. This will allow you to deal the most amount of damage. Then for the crit build, depending on what you have less, get yourself either Stargazy Pie or Crumbly Bread. For the weak spot build, it's going to be the same options, but replace Stargazy Pie by Assorted Canned Fruits. And of course, there is also the pan fried fish buffs, which are stackable. So you should get yourself the sea bass for both builds, angel fish for the crit, and pompano for both as well. Then for drinks, there isn't anything that buffs this gun's damage directly, so go with either iced tea for more movement speed or Stardust Raspberry Shaved Ice for increased bullseye duration. 